This video is just a short extract from the entire course. If you wish to see all of the videos from this series at higher quality and in far larger screen size, head over to ifskills.com. Excel has the capability to insert what has been referred to as smart art. Now, smart art arrived in 2007 and in 2010 has just been given a revamp, more choices, more colors, more 3D-ness in some cases. Now, if we want to insert a smart art object, use the insert ribbon, smart art. Now, you'll find that the smart art graphics are broken down into categories. We have list type graphics, and you can see in the middle section the different shapes of list type graphics. Process type graphics, where there's a flow of information, and again, the middle section has different types of graphic that represent that flow. Cycle steps really where information flows from one box to another quite common one here are these two basic cycle and text cycle hierarchical so things like organization charts diagrams that show some sort of architectural structure such as this one relationship diagrams some of these are repeated in other options the funnel for example exists in a, another group matrix we have a lump of information that joined together in sort of grid fashion. Pyramid, as it said, pyramid fashion, upwards or downwards. Picture graphics, so graphics that can handle the insertion of an image as well. So again, some of these items are existent in the other groups, but by grouping them all together, you know that these all can take a picture. It might be a picture of staff or a picture of a product. And then office.com has some other options, but again, they're all in the other groups. So let's choose one of the cycle graphics. The basic one to start with would be great. Basic cycle, okay. Now we are given five shapes and you enter your text by clicking and typing. So we might have a cycle of an egg, which becomes a chick, which becomes a hen, which then lays an egg. So we don't need these two boxes. So to remove a shape, you simply right click and choose cut to cut it from the screen. Alternatively, if you make sure you've selected the border rather than the text in the middle, you can just press the delete key on the keyboard. And you can see that within this external rectangle, which is effectively the drawing area, the shapes resize themselves to fit. And we can move that shape around and we can resize that shape. And you can see that the cycle part of the diagram then resize. Now, just to the left of the drawing palette, you'll notice there's a little mini menu, really, that if you click, that pops out, and you can actually edit the text within here. So if we wanted to, for example, add another option in, we would click into Edit Text, press Return to move that option down, and put some feed in there. So we start off with a bit of feed, we end up with an egg, then a chicken, then a hen. And we can then close this panel. It's just another way of accessing the text, which in some of the more complicated drawings actually makes life a little easier. Now, within our smart art graphic, just as in most other items in Excel, what you'll notice is we've suddenly got a smart art tools context sensitive ribbon, which actually has two tabs a design tab and a format tab. They will allow you to control, change, prettify our shape. Now, we can change the layout from our cycle diagram here to a basic text cycle diagram so that loses the shapes or a sort of squarey one and in the drop down there are others we can change to multi-directional so it goes in every direction that's probably more appropriate for chickens and eggs you can see how some of them do not show everything and some of them just don't make any sense whatsoever so you can choose any shape you like and it will retain the text items obviously as it moves through them. That one's quite a good one. Do I want the directional one? So we can change the layout in this section. And notice the same as the other pop-out dialog box in Excel, there's no need to click at any point until you finally decide the one you want. You just hover the mouse over and it changes. We can change the styles the number of different styles. So this retains the same shapes, but adds on different styles. So we've got sort of 3D options there. Quite like that flattening out idea. And we can change the colors. 
and we've got different color schemes. So the data through all of this is maintained. So these are different accents of the same color scheme, so sort of different gradients and different tints, or we've got different colors completely. We'll go with that one. So we can change the color style. We can change the actual layout. We can reset the graphic back to its original settings. We can open up the little text pane, but we've seen that we can access that through the little menu here. And you can add in further shapes should there need to be another shape in our cycle flow. So that's just one example of a smart art graphic. And there are plenty of them. We can move that across a bit and just scroll to the right a little and just do a, a quick addition of another one. So it's insert smart art. Choose the shape that you're looking for. Perhaps we'll have a pyramid style this time. Okay. All the smart art graphics appear in the little rectangles, the sort of drawing canvas. The drawing canvas is resizable. The smart art graphic will respond to auto fit that canvas. You have the little pop out for text still, or we can click on the screen and add that text. So we've got top, middle, and lower. Notice how even the text size auto fits to fit within the rectangle of the text box. Now with our pyramid, we've got other layouts and you can see go to the top bottom, a little pop out of the labels or even a built up triangle to make the pyramids. Let's stay with our original. If we wanted to add in another layer to this pyramid, we can do that from here, add shape. And we've got the options of add shape after, add shape before, add shape above or add shape below. So it's gonna be add shape below. Why have you appeared over there? Undo, add shape after. That's a much better placing. And we can add upper lower as the floor for that one. As we did with the cyclical one over here, let's close the text panel. We can change the style of our pyramid and you've got the same style options, bird's eye. Use a beveled you want, and we can change the color so we can be a colored or we can be different gradients of the same colors chosen. Let's go for a really colorful, and you can then move it where you want it. When you click away, the context sensitive ribbon disappears from up here, and the object effectively is transparent around its sides, so you can actually see the cells behind the pyramid the box. Even though I click in here, I can see the drawing box. This area here is transparent. So there's not a block against it to the cells behind. But just like a piece of clip art or any other object you want to drop into Excel, these objects sit above the actual cells.